So you're ready to come south for the winter? Are you snowbirding like we did? This is gonna be our sixth year spending a winter in Phoenix because we absolutely love Phoenix so much. Now in January, we are going to Hawaii. Some people have been asking, yes, we're still going. But if you're coming to Phoenix, you might wanna know some of the hot spots to explore while you're here on contract or if you're just a snowbird and you're gonna be here in the area. So for the next four weeks, we're going to be doing a series all about Phoenix. And tonight, we're gonna take you with us on our anniversary date, downtown Phoenix, where we explored nightlife. Now, nightlife is not usually our thing, but it was so much fun. up tonight well this is fancy for us <laughs> but it is our 21st wedding anniversary yay and Kristen has been inspired by our recent trip to Las Vegas yes uh, we are gonna go downtown to Phoenix this is not normally our scene but we're gonna go find some hidden speakeasies and fun themed bars and just hop around maybe try like a drink at each place <laughs> And that's, that's all we can afford. That's all we can afford. <laughs> and then appetizer, maybe. I don't know. We're going to go see what there is as far as nightlife goes. But also, let's be honest, we're over 40. So, so. only until like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock. Right. Let's go. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? Since we know our new hometown is a popular destination for travelers in the wintertime, we figured October is the perfect time to show you around and get you ready for those perfect sunsets and unbeatable climate. We're kicking off this series with seven fun downtown bars that you might want to try out. Don't worry though, if bars aren't your scene, keep watching. In this mini series, we'll be covering outdoor activities, our favorite foodie locations, and must-see attractions. This is only our third time downtown, and the other two times were because of Atlas meet and greets. Our first stop tonight, Ziggy's Magic Pizza, didn't pan out. See what I did there? because of the very long line. But it's still worth mentioning because it's a pizza shop with a really cool hidden feature. If you walk through the employee area and open the freezer, you'll find a decked out pinball disco bar, complete with pinball machines, unique drinks, a lighted dance floor. Tonight the line is way too long though, so we're headed for a more sophisticated start to our evening where we can watch the sunset over the city. To the roof. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I don't know. How do we get to 13? It's a special one. Oh, floor 13. <laughs> Floor 13 is a chic rooftop bar in downtown Phoenix with stunning skyline views on top of the Hilton Garden Inn. This historic building was featured in the opening scene of Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 film Psycho, which is the inspiration for their unique drink menu. convinced him to find some scooters for the next one. Okay, so we're all we're all dressed up and nice. And look at our ride. <laughs> I said, let's take the scooters over there. So we're going to Rough Riders next. So we went from the rooftop to the basement of another hotel. Um, and this one is a speakeasy. You have to take a certain elevator to go down to the Theodore Roosevelt, it's Roosevelt, right? Yep. Themed bar. And it has it's a restaurant also. So we've had appetizers here on the rooftop of the Hilton Garden Inn. And now we're gonna go have our entree. It's like a progressive dinner downtown. Guys, I'm in heels. Let's just hope that I don't fall off of this thing. 
Are you ready for this? <laughs> Alright, All right, let's go. Let's do this. Not wanting to find another parking spot and always up for an adventure, we set off on scooters to stop number three on our tour. You know, I have the biggest, goofiest smile on my All face. Right, on. Okay. Look for this mural and turn around. Inside that building, you will find a set of elevators. Choose the middle one and head on down. According to their website, Rough Rider is a simple, sophisticated space marked by an old world love for the finer things in life. It's a 21st century restaurant and cocktail bar inspired by fashions, fair, and libations of the late 19th. In other words, it's a quaint and cozy man cave. And we loved it. That was a win. Well, except for your drink. <laughs> yeah, I tried something different that was had raw egg in it. It was different. <laughs> <laughs> he says, do you want to take the scooters? Yes. I got it. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Next up is a two for one restaurant and bar. Disco Dragon is a pan-Asian late night restaurant and the food looked amazing, but we had just eaten so we weren't really hungry. Inside though, you'll find a tall black door near the bathroom and if you step inside that door, you'll find a hidden bar called FYFP. Yeah, that stands for F you pay me. The contrast of lighting was fun and it's the drinks drink. were super unique. Oh my we god, we stayed for a few better. minutes though and then we were <laughs> off to find our stop number five. Cheers. We probably should have taken the scooters again, but it seemed walkable. That is, unless you're in heels. Although we didn't stop at this next spot, I'm going to include it on our tour because we've been there twice for Atlas meet and greets, and it's a fantastic low-key spot to grab a local beer. Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company has a great food menu and a huge outdoor space to enjoy a lovely evening. But where they really shine is their craft beer. Want to really taste the Southwest? Try their cactus juice or their prickly pear sour. Moving along next door to number six of the evening is Ghost Donkey. No trip to Phoenix is complete without Mexican food and drinks. And you can't go wrong with a margarita under the stars here. At this point in the night, we were slowing down for sure, and being over 40 is no joke. I wasn't sure I was up for scooters anymore, so we checked out the most unique Uber we've ever taken. It's a company called Waymo, and it's completely driver-free. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try something new. Well, we've been trying a lot of things new tonight. We're gonna try a Waymo vehicle, right? Is that what yep, it's called? Waymo. Really excited. I've always wanted to do to take a Waymo drive ride. Oh my gosh. Hey John. Hi. Hey Wemo. <gasps> There's no one. Seat belts. Hello from Wemo. As we get going, just give us one minute to cover a few riding tips. This experience may feel futuristic, but the need to buckle up is the same as always. This is freaking cool. This is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> this is another one. There's a lot of them down here. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, there's people. Wow, it like even knows and that's a. Run over people? Yeah. That is so cool. It was time to round off the night and lounge at one more rooftop bar. Eden Rooftop Bar is on top of the Kempton Hotel Palomar, and it's a great open comfy space. After enjoying the breeze for a bit, we decided it was probably time to head home. The server had brought us each a glass of champagne to toast with, which was super nice, but we had had enough by then. So we cheers politely, took a sip and called it a night. Phoenix has some really great nightlife spots downtown. Which one do you want to try? 
Coming up next in our Phoenix Traveler series, getting outside. From hiking to biking, rock climbing and off-roading, there is a never-ending outdoor playground right at your fingertips. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out there.